Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric, back again with another video. And in this video, we are talking about lane changes. We are running 2019.40.2.1. And we have the new visualization that you see here on the center display, where the lane that you're moving into illuminates in blue, and then the car almost instantly transitions into that other lane. But if you have been following Tesla or own a Tesla, you know that this always hasn't been the case and always hasn't been that smooth. And autopilot really hasn't worked. Like on this road right here, you can see with the newest software update, it actually is working and I can manually slow down almost to zero just to get it to stop at a stop sign. Autopilot lane changes aren't perfect yet. You can see here I enable the lane change to the left and it starts to go over and then kind of swerves back even though there's not a car there. Now I do try this two more times and here's the second time here and I try to go over into that lane and it starts to move over but then ultimately swerves back into the right lane even though there's no car there. So this is a two lane road and it is not able to make that lane change. Now we're going to try it a third time we can turn on the turn signal and there's still no car and it does make that lane change. Now I guess third time was a charm for this, so there's still some improvement needed, but it's far better than where we started. You can see that smooth transition back to the right hand side there. Autopilot lane changes are really impressive. Very impressive, especially if you think about where they have come from. So I wanna take a moment and jump back to a couple software updates that happened one this past year and then a couple that were several years ago. So here in August of 2019, you can see that I'm able to do these lane changes and it did go pretty quickly. You can see I manually turned the turn signal on there and it does almost immediately get over and I'm able to jump into a right hand turn lane. So it didn't have the visualization there, which as a driver makes me more comfortable. But now if we jump back even further to a hardware 2.0 model s that was from january 2018 you can see the visualization is a lot different we do get the dashed lines and the film is sped up here but the lane changes are definitely not as smooth as they are today and also you don't see any of the cars around you you only see the car that is directly in front of you that came in a later software update now if we go even further back to october 2017 a hardware 2.0 model x would not even change lanes on a two lane road. It would only change lanes on a major highway, which leads me to our current software 40.2.1 and navigate on autopilot. So you can see right here, we're taking the on-ramp and I wanna walk you through how advanced this system has become. So a couple of those previous versions that I showed you in those hardware 2.0 cars didn't have navigate on autopilot because it wasn't released yet. So what we're seeing here is the car is attempting to transition or change lanes from this lane to the left and it's able to see those cars that are in the left lane and illuminate it in red and then smoothly make the transition. Now me as a driver, I didn't turn on the turn signal. So navigate on autopilot is different than regular autopilot. Navigate on autopilot like you see here with a single blue line means that the car is gonna make the decision on what lane it needs to be in. Now that lane position or lane decision isn't always the best one. The system is still learning just like autopilot in its infancy. It did say, take some time to get that to where it is today. So you can see right here, I'm merging onto a major highway and the navigate on autopilot wants to move into the right hand lane. So we're gonna go ahead and let it do that. And even though this right hand lane does end as me as the driver, I do know that. So as this ends, it almost tries to pass that person until I manually slow down the speed and then we are able to merge on a highway. Now, realistically, I would, me as the driver would need zero input from the time I entered the highway to the time I got off the highway because of navigate on autopilot. So we're gonna cruise down the highway for a little bit and I want you to see just how advanced this navigate on autopilot system is. Now we just did a lane change there with the new 
uh, illuminated where the lane that the car is going to move into turns blue, notifying the driver that the car is aware where that lane is and that the lane is clear of any obstacle or other vehicle, which makes the driver a lot more comfortable and me using that system, I feel a lot more confident that the car knows what's around it when that is illuminated in blue and your point of view transitions from the lane that you're in to the lane that you're going to like you just saw right there with that lane change. So here you see a car merging in and autopilot is pretty advanced and courteous as well slowing down for that car to allow that car to merge onto the highway. So we now have our exit coming up here and you can see navigate on autopilot, even with all this construction, is able to take that exit, which is really impressive. And so we transition now from navigate on autopilot one line to two blue lines, as you can see on the center display, to just regular autopilot. Two blue lines is just regular autopilot. Now that we are off the highway, we're on a highway exit ramp, but we go back to regular autopilot. Keep in mind that a lot of this film, like you're seeing here, is sped up. It's at a faster speed, so we can get through more video at a more efficient pace. Now, I did, just the other day, take delivery of our brand new Model 3. We got a red Model 3, and I will do a full video talking about the delivery experience, but for this video, I wanted to mention something that I did pick up for this beautiful red Model 3, and that is a car cover. If you followed my channel for a while, you know that I've reviewed a couple of these car covers, and this by far is my favorite one. So that's why we're putting it on our brand new Model 3, a red Model 3, and it is really soft on the inside, so that to alleviate any scratches. Now this would ideally be put on by two people, but it's not a heavy lift for a single person. As you can see here, I'm putting it on by myself. And there's a couple features. They really paid good attention to detail with this car cover compared to a couple other ones that I've seen. A nice fit, although I would like to see it come down just a little bit to cover the rims completely. That's not a huge deal though, because the car cover is meant to cover the entire vehicle, so you are getting a lot of protection, but also a lot of functionality because it doesn't cover this vent that you see in the front there, so if your car kicks on to heat or cool the battery system, that vent is not covered, allowing the car to vent air. Now here is the charge port, which has a really nice zipper and opens up extra wide, but the zipper also has a cover on it to prevent any rain or anything like that getting underneath the car cover. So now that that's popped open, you can easily plug the car in to keep it charged without having to take off the car cover, which is great if you know it's gonna snow or something like that, you can have the car protected outdoors while it's still charging. Really, really nice fit and finish, and I do like the little reflectors that they did put on all the corners, and I really like the buckle that they attached. I'll get a close-up of that buckle right here so that there it does not blow off if it gets windy. There's a buckle in the front and a buckle in the rear. Really happy with this car cover. If you're interested in one, I will put a link down below in the description where you can pick this one up. For right now, this Model 3 is gonna stay in the garage under the cover until we get it wrapped. More details about the wrap and the ceramic coat in a later video. But if you wanna pick up this car cover, it is a steal at 60 bucks for as good a quality as it is. So again, I will leave a link down below in the description where you can pick this thing up. I wanna encourage you, yes, you right now watching this video, to head over to my Patreon and support this channel for as little as $1 a month. Special shout out to Akrama Tool and Nicola Pro for supporting this channel at the top tier. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video with a friend. I'll see you in the next one.